Alright, so hey, what is happening everybody? This is Jimmy Bones back at it again with another video, and I am currently a little under the weather, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little strange in this video. It's just because I am, I seem to have caught something a little small, but besides that point, I'm still really good to make videos, and I really wanted to go ahead and get this out there, because this is something I have not seen uh, be made before. Now, we, um... We all know that Jimmy is really big on making, uh, I, I, I want to say copywritten char characters, but more like name branded characters. And I remember that this little guy was promoted on that website, um, I forgot the name of it, it's like Hamateur or something like that. Um, but last year they sold the life-size Frosty the Snowman. And this year, uh, well not life-size, but they made the four foot. Uh, Frosty the Snowman that finally got produced out to the public or like Jimmy's more modern version of it and it wasn't bad but I did think that the the dancing was a little strange uh, and it definitely was not the most perfect four foot dancing uh, life size out there I guess you could say now this actually probably would be a life size dancing Snoopy um, and that's what this is. So this was being sold this year for uh, Jimmy of 2023 on the website and I will, if I can remember, I will try to put a link in the description if you are interested in buying this product because it's actually not that bad. And I don't really know what motivated me to get this life size other than the fact that we have never seen a life size dancing Snoopy. And this is probably the very first Christmas name branded character I've actually really liked. Because like I said, we've never seen a life-size dancing Snoopy that that actually dances and dances to the tune of the Charlie Brown theme. Now this thing is obviously not perfect. It has its flaws. Um, it has that dancing mechanism that everybody hates uh, that, that Jimmy's been experimenting with. Now with this one in particular, however, it actually does do justice. And it actually does do a good job with the... Uh, dancing, uh, I guess, illusion, um, because I don't know what it is. It's like, it may, maybe it's because the arms aren't floppy and nothing it seems out of place, but when Snoopy dances, he actually looks like he's dancing. So I can't complain there. But I do have a big complaint about the song. I thought that maybe the song would go on for a little bit longer because the Frosty the Snowman that they made last year had a longer song than this guy. I think, I don't even think the song on this guy is even 30 seconds long. It seems like it's only like maybe 15, which is unfortunate because I was hoping that they would play the theme song a little bit longer. Um, but regardless of that, in my opinion, I think that this little guy is pretty good for what he is. Because we have never seen a life-size Snoopy before, and I love the Peanuts stuff. I love Charlie Brown, I love Linus and Lucy, and I especially love Snoopy. Um, I actually have a couple t-shirts of Snoopy, so for him to be a part of my Christmas collection of things, it's just downright awesome. And the box wasn't even really that big for this guy, none of them ever really are for the life-size uh, four-foot models, or the uh, smaller size four-foot models, but I guess if you're, like I said, if you're talking about this, this would definitely be a life-size for Snoopy, because I believe Snoopy would probably be about this tall if he was real and he existed. Same with Woodstock. So, again, it's really nice. It's actually not terribly made either. Uh, the the clothing, like the, the bottom half of the body, is very well put together. It has good material. It has a good build to it. It has some nice thick styrofoam uh, or just foam in it to make it feel right. So I'm really glad that, that they, they didn't cheap out on this. And the head is actually really nice as well. Um, I think this little guy would look really cute in the corner of a living room or something like that. So, I mean, he's, he's he would be an awesome little addition to anybody who loves to collect peanut stuff or like, you know, Charlie Brown stuff. Or who just loves Charlie Brown in general. This would be the perfect Christmas kind of decoration for you. And I thought that it actually fit the Christmas pro profile pretty well. Because when I think Charlie Brown, I definitely think more of Christmas more than any other holiday. Or the Peanuts stuff. So, I'm really... I'm really impressed by it, actually, for being a four-footer and for having this dancing mechanism that they put in this. I was actually very impressed with the dancing. I thought it was nice. Um, he comes with a Try Me button. He also comes with a power cord. Now, the one thing that I also have a complaint about is that he does not have a volume knob, so I cannot turn the volume up or down. It is set at a, at a uh, level that is 
unadjustable, I guess you could say. So it's kind of like a Pan-Asian Creations dancing mechanism and a Pan-Asian Creations dancer or hip swinger, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but besides that fact, uh, I think that's all I have complaints about. I do like that he does come with a charming button. He is decently storage friendly, so if you are worried about box sizes, it, it, his box really isn't that big. Um, I think it really does fit the holiday very well and I really think anybody like I said who wants to collect dancers hip swingers will definitely love this this is definitely something new it's different and I'm really glad that we actually got something like this but I will go ahead and give you all a quick close-up and let you all see what this little guy looks like um, up close and personal so give me one second and I will be right back Okay, so coming up to the four foot Snoopy, as you can see, he's not really that big. Um, he probably is just a little taller than my dresser here compared to other things that I've obviously reviewed. During the time of Halloween, there are a bunch of other life sizes much bigger than this guy. But regardless of that, he still looks really good. Um, and like I said, this is probably a life size Snoopy in height in comparison. So getting down here on his level, you can see they put his eyes there. Um, I don't think they gave him a mouth or anything. Yeah, no, they didn't give him a mouth, but his head is just this massive big plush head that sits on a plastic piece. And actually, I don't know if you can see it under there. But yeah, no, you can't unfortunately see it that well. There you go. Yeah, you can see it's like a plastic piece and it doesn't move. It just kind of wobbles with the dancing depending on how violent it is but it's still it's still really nice it's a very soft gentle fur the fabric of the hat is actually really thick and i i actually like the way it feels it actually feels really good it feels very similar to the fabric that they used on the life-size dancing santas made at walmart um it's that same kind of fabric on both ends but it's actually a really nice thick kind of fabric to kind of fill out snoopy and make him look a little more like a santa claus and not to mention, he also has Woodstock in his hands, which I just thought was absolutely adorable. Woodstock is plush as well. He's he's obviously, you know, tied into the hands. And the paws of Snoopy are also very, very soft. I really love that as well. Um, and then he also has a little belt. I don't know if you can see that well. But the belt is just a yellow fabric, and actually it's bent upward. There we go. And Woodstock also has these little antlers on his head. Um, I don't know if you can fully adjust them, but they were bent down a little bit for me. But again, it's still adorable. And as you can see, he has the little eyes. He's smiling. So, but there's that as well. And then down here at the bottom, same thing, similar to the hands. He has really plush feet. They are adjustable. They might move a little bit while he's dancing. Um, and his legs, they're not, they don't have really anything in them, but with how this is built, it doesn't really look like his legs need adjusting anyway. So that's really good, in my opinion. But yeah, the feet are very plush, just like any other dancing mechanism or dancing animatronic that has this kind of build to it. It's really not that bad, and I think it's really cool. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this little guy. I always like to give you all a side view perspective, because it's still a dancing animatronic. Regardless, oh yeah, and then let me also talk to y'all about the ears. The ears, they're just floppy as well, but they're soft as well. Nothing on this guy is feels like a brick. It's it's all soft, plush material, but it works. And I think Jimmy actually did a pretty good job with this guy. Considering that he's one of those four-foot dancing animatronics, he still looks good. And I have to admit, he's definitely probably one of my favorite four-foot dancers so far that they have made. Even though the song isn't long, and even though um, he's not really that well known, I don't think, because unfortunately he's on a website that not many people know about, he's still really good nonetheless. But anyways, you all, I really hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. I always try to upload weekly and never try and disappoint you all, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is Jimmy Bones, signing off. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.